Hi, thanks for joining. I'm Crawford Wiley, the organist and director of music here at St. Jude the Apostle in Wauwatosa. And I thought since the organ features a lot in the videos that we're producing each weekend, and also at the masses here that we would normally have each weekend, it would be fun to take this opportunity to show you how the organ produces the sound that it produces. Um, because stuck up here in the loft, you may not actually ever get to see any of this. Um, so with our cameras, we can show that to you. So at its most basic, the organ as an instrument is a way of controlling a specific sound made by a pipe. Uh, on a future segment, maybe we'll delve into exactly how this console controls those sounds, which is a little bit more complicated. But for right now, I can demonstrate very easily to you how the pipes make the sound. So right here, I have a pipe taken from, for those of you who know anything about the organ, the four foot principle on the swell, which is this manual. And if you've ever played a recorder, it works in exactly the same manner. So you have the toe of the pipe, has a little opening here, and the sound comes out the mouth of the pipe, which makes perfect sense. Uh, the length of the pipe determines the pitch. So the longer the pipe, the lower the pitch. And actually, Bill will be able to play you a little segment right now of the longest pipe in the organ playing this incredibly low pitch. So this one is kind of a medium-sized pipe, not too long, not too tiny. And if I just blow into the end, you hear an organ sound. Um, that's a very typical sound. The pipes that we're focusing on today are from the principal family. And although they're all of different sizes, they look like this. I also happen to have the tiniest pipe from that whole set of pipes. And I don't know if you'll be able to hear this or not, but it's a really high pitched, the dogs in the room will get it. So obviously in order to get a steady sound that doesn't waver, you need a steady source of air. And that comes from the wind chest, which is a big wooden box that all of these pipes in the organ sit on. And it takes air from the bellows, goes into the wind chest, it's pressurized at a steady level. And when I pull out a stop and depress a key, air flows at a steady rate into the toe hole of the pipe and comes out the mouth, which is very straightforward. So I thought that first off, we would talk a tiny bit about pitch, and then I'll demonstrate some stops of the principal family at different pitches. So each stop has a number on it that indicates, roughly speaking, the length of the longest pipe in that rank. So when I pull out an eight foot principal, that means more or less that the longest pipe in that rank, which is also gonna be the lowest pitch, is eight feet long. If I pull out a four foot principle, on here it's called the octave, which should tell you it sounds an octave or eight notes up, that's going to sound higher. And then on this organ, one that is two feet long, the 15th is gonna sound an octave higher than that. So to review that again, the eight foot one, the four foot, and then the two foot. And if you put those all together, so those are the stops of the principal family on the great manual. And in a future episode, we will talk about the names of the different keyboards and what stops they all control. Uh, for right now, Let's cut to hearing what all three of these stops played together sound like. Thanks for joining, and we'll see you again.